YouTube and welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review and today we're going to be taking a look at Commander Colt right here yeah alright um backstory on me getting this figure Comic Con uh, I bought it from a reseller at Comic Con it was a little pricey I mean it wasn't like over like regular eBay pricing but I decided to pick him up, you know, because I really was in need of a cult. <laughs> so, give me a minute to unbox this ARC Trooper, and we will start this review. Okay, so Commander Colt has been unboxed, so let's take a quick look at the packaging here. So, it's basic Shadow of the Dark Side packaging, but, I mean, that render, you just... I mean, who doesn't like that? It's just cult. It's just this ARC Trooper who is just the most elite, you know, he's got all the guns and toughest armor, he's just the character, like, I'm trying to compare, like Grievous, kinda. He's just like the toughest character that everybody wants, you know, everybody wants the clone with the bigger gun, or the clone, or sometimes it's the clone that's more, I don't know, popular, you know, but in this case, it's Commander Colt. But this render, in my opinion, sometimes the render sell the pa sell the character, like it sells it, because think about it. When you can't tell what a figure is until you open it, or you can look at it, but you can't tell what it does. You can't tell its articulation. So kind of this render has to kind of set the tone for you liking the figure. You know, it, I mean, it has to kind of. Like this right here. This wolf. It has to set the tone. You know, he's got that scarred eye, and you're like, man, I want, I want wolf. And again, this is like the big clone of the wave. So it's like a double, a double base hit. So you know. But like, to get back to my render point, I see kids in Walmart and I saw one kid that uh, was with his dad one day and there was like a season 4 Anakin on the shelf and he sees this Anakin so about to stab something and I want that one <laughs> is his first reaction so you know I mean I can understand that I mean who doesn't want Anakin about to stab something who doesn't want cl clone commander Colt you know so anyway I I'll stop running my mouth sorry that was my watch so, again, this is Clone Wars number 52, 30 to trial, Shadow of the Dark Side, yeah. With a rend not a render, but an image of him photoshopped, and then an image of the uh, figure, and it includes Blaster. And a picture of the rest of the figures in the wave. And then we got the bio. Clone Commander Colt defends Kamino cloning facilities that are under attack by special for separatist forces. Sorry. He commands the elite ARC troopers assigned to this challenging mission. He's an expert in amphibious and ground missions, and he has a helmet with a distinctive design that it identifies his specialized unit. Sorry about that. Okay. So that's pretty much your packaging for Commander Colt. I like it. I just, that's my favorite packaging. <laughs> now let's take a look at this figure. Wow. This is awesome. I don't know if you guys, like, like this as much as I do. I know I'm a little late on this review, but I just think he's he's a cooler figure. He just got that those markings that make you want to go buy him at Toys R. He's just that cool guy. He does have a movable range finder. I know it's a little bit early to tell that, but I'll go ahead and come say his accessories. And he has a big uh, projectile launcher and so it fits in his hand pretty well and it's got that little arch for his shoulder so I mean if you think about it, it kind of fits pretty well so if you wanted to do a pose like that he was never really seen with this weapon but still and then he does come with his twin blaster pistols like almost every other commander um, and holsters one already came in the holster and the other one came in his hand that's a kind of cool pose. <laughs> but, so that, those are pretty much his accessories. I'll go ahead and put these both in his holsters. 
And I'll go ahead and show you the backpack, the kind of, I don't know, it reminds me of the Sand Troopers backpack, uh, is removable, and it stays on really, really well, it will not fall off, and his, he's just got an overall great sculpt, but a little bit of background on this guy, they released a version of this character in the Arc Troopers battle pack about, back in the fall, but, it, you know, people had trouble getting it. But it was kind of based on like concept art of the Arc Troopers, and it really wasn't that good. They, you know, they left out a lot of things. So I'll go ahead and show you the differences, like night and day. So again, like it's just I think that when they released this figure they didn't know that he was going to be this popular so they decided um... who cares we'll just throw him in a battle pack maybe you know but and then everybody wants him in better versions so they release a single version of commander cole and i do think he's pretty cool as far as articulation we've got ball hinged ankles ball hinged knees and swivel hips and then a swivel wrist, a ball hinge sh hinged elbow, and a ball hinged shoulder, and then a ball jointed head. So, and then I think I believe we have a kind of like a ball jointed uh, abdomen. I, I never know what to call that. Hmm. But uh, so yeah, I'll go ahead and talk about what I think of this figure. I think it was good, but I do think one thing could have been improved the paint job. I do think this paint job is it just got it's a gray but it's got like a little tiny blue tint in the gray I, I think. I mean when I'm shining it to the light and everything I just I'm looking at it and I'm looking at the silver and I'm looking at these other grays and I'm thinking either it's a darker dark 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 gray or it's just somewhat blue tinted and you guys may or may not be able to see that from the camera. But he is an awesome figure. They really nailed his design on his camera and here they did too but it wasn't in like the vibrant colors that we want. So but here we had like more silver metallic e paint so there focus. Come on man focus. There we go. So yeah see metallic metallic but he just missed the skull mark markings and I think this figure has become more of a custom base for all the collectors I know it has for me and uh... stay tuned but um... so yes Mo movable rangefinder like I said in the beginning uh... you can move it up and down as you please or all around if you even want and then his head oops, pops off and it's got the ball joint that you could fit a like a head, like a clone head onto. So if you wanted to like, you know, make a custom and put like make a custom clone commander colt head, you could. And I think it would have really been a high point. Why does this backpack keep falling off? I think it really would have been a high point if Hasbro would have made this helmet removable. But you know, with helm removing helmets Usually you have an air in the sculpt somewhere. It just it's hard to maintain a good sculpt with a removable helmet. Because my wolf, my commander wolf, with his removable helmet, the helmet looked fat right there. It just blew up on the side. And I was like, gosh, that kinda ruins it. But with this with ball jointed, you just kinda you know, preserve that awesome look. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching my review on Commander Colt. And until next time, may the force be with you.